Hello everybody, welcome to Castlevania Order of Ecclesia. First Castlevania game I'm doing with my webcam on, second game ever done. Mighty Number no. 9 is the other one, go check it out. Let's get started. I've already created a, well, I guess I haven't. Yeah, not going to be used with the network connection, sorry. So let's enter the usual name. And let's get this show started. Research Introduction. Returning to life time oh. and again since the ancient Middle Ages, the evil Lord Dracula has driven people to terror. Each time Dracula returned from the dead, the Belmont clan fought him in the shadows, wielding the Holy Whip. Through their efforts, humanity avoided the darkness, securing prosperity. But early in the 19th century, having lost their ability to resist the darkness, those in positions of power at the time began to search for new ways to counter Dracula. Our organization, Ecclesia, was born then as one of those countermeasures. Many organizations were established with the same goal, and day after day they conducted their studies diligently. But each was dissolved when they failed to produce satisfactory results. But that was when Barlow, the leader of Ecclesia, finally made a surprising breakthrough that could stand up against Dracula. Alright, I forgot they had voice there. I'm probably gonna have to voice this woman. Who's there? Figures, serves me right for trying to scare you. Albus! Apparently, I didn't hide my presence very well at all. Good to see you, Shinoa. What are you doing here? Well, this is our home, after all. Where else would I be? No, it's not that. Aren't you on a mission? Yes, but I wanted to make sure things were okay here. Any news worth sharing? Well, Barlow chose me as the bearer, actually. We're about to start the ritual, so my body can be a vessel for Dominus. What did you say? Dominus? You? That's right. This is an outrage. Barlow lied to me. Lied? I'm supposed to be the bearer. He promised me that much. But the master said you... What? What did he tell you? That you're unfit to be the bearer. Huh? He would never say such a thing. But Albus... I'm sorry, it's time. I have to go. Wait, Shanoa, you don't understand. You're wrong. I'm as much a member of Ecclesia as you are. Our sole purpose is to destroy Dracula, so people can look to dawn without fearing the darkness. Am I wrong, Albus? That isn't... For that reason, I will become Dominus, the blade to banish all evil. Shinoa! Okay, so control is turned over to us. And I'm so sorry that I have to let my face be seen as I'm doing all these voices. Controls are pretty much the same as any other Castlevania game, and we get to play the most emo character that is the main protagonist since Alucard himself. Can't go through that door. Can we go through this one? No. We have to go get Dominus. Oddly, it's a boss door. How could he? Orders may be orders, Barlow. But I'm holding you to your promise. Shanoa, as you know, only you can become the bearer of Dominus. Yes, sir. Even so, it will be nearly impossible for you to control its power. The purpose of this ritual is to make sure your body will adjust to Dominus. Yes, sir. But when it's over, I... That's right, Shanoa. You will be able to wield our most powerful glyph. Dominus, which Ecclesia created as the ultimate weapon against Dracula. Proud of you, Shinova. 
You will become our world's new savior. Having a little trouble keeping up. Sure, back tat and. Ritual interrupted? What's going on? Ah! You. who are. What's the meaning of this? Albus, you know how crucial the ritual is. You lied to me. Albus. I was to be the bearer, you promised me. We each have a role. If you had followed orders, you might understand that. Above all else, Shinoa is the only one with the capacity for Dominus. You know that as well as I do. I intended to overcome my weakness. What happened to working together? Perhaps we still can. Together we will overcome this setback as well. It's too late. Snap. Tell me, Albus, what do you intend to do with Dominus? You said it yourself. Each one of us has a role, and, like a fine master, you've finally shown me what mine must be. Don't be stupid, Albus. What are you planning? I will be taking Dominus. Be rational. Without that glyph, our mission is a failure. Dracula's vessel... I have my own mission. Shit, he's got a gun. You are my master no longer. Farewell, Barlow. Okay, Barlow is a little bit of a badass. Neat. Several weeks pass. Your training regimen shall soon conclude. As you say, sir. We tap the power in all things great and small to forge glyphs through Ecclesia's secret art. And so we gain the strength to save mankind. Absorb the glyph before you, if you would. You can absorb the glyph on the screen by pressing up. Absorbing it grants the glyph in ten hearts. So you press and hold up, she shows her back tat, and absorbs the rapier, Confodere. A rapier glyph? Just so. And now you see, absorb a glyph and you shall know its kind. That is your gift. It's yours and yours alone. As you say, sir. That I must teach you from the start again. A pity that this had to happen now. But still, our time is waning. Moving on. As you say, sir. That glyph. Direct its power toward your arms. Open the menu with start and select glyph to set glyphs to Y and X. Okay. Oops. This is, uh, circle button here. I'm gonna double confidere, cause why not? So armed, you can wield glyphs against your foes. Imagine I am one of them, and strike. Press Y or X to attack with your assigned glyphs. Glyph attacks consume MP, which recovers with time. So by uh, assigning it to both, I can do X, Y, X, Y, X, Y, X, Y combos there, and it recharges, and that's your mana in this game. If your mana runs out, you can't attack until it charges up. So it's sort of like a stamina meter, really. Um, we'll talk more about other effects later on, but uh, this game is a game that actually takes status effects and makes them very dangerous. Alternate Y and X for combos. Yeah, I got it. I'm not doing that. Your memories may have fled, but you must not. Hear me. Your warrior's instincts must endure. Now meld the glyphs in both your arms. Prepare. Glyph unions may yet catch foes by surprise. Press up and Y or X to perform glyph union. Yeah. So skillful. Now you face the final test, the danger of true combat. Steal yourself. Then, once prepared, step into the next room. As you say, sir. So, I think she had her memory wiped after the, uh, the little mishap with Absorbing Dominus. That's pretty much what happened. So hold on a second here, I'm gonna go back a little bit. This thing right here... ...fills up your hearts. Okay, cool. 
And hearts also refill your stamina meter, so that's good too. What are we fighting? From nether worlds I call your enemy. Use everything you've learned to stand your ground. And be our greatest warrior once again. Okay. Fine. That was simple. So ends your basic training. Now advance. Oh, there's more. Shanoa, I expected nothing less. Thank you, sir. And now your mission must begin at once. Recover the Supreme Glyph, Dominus. My pupil has it. Albus is his name. Albus. Does that name stir your memory by chance? No, sir. Your feelings, then. You knew of him before. I know nothing of him now, sir. Know this. It's he who robbed your memories blind. He cost you that. And cost mankind its wish. I only hope, and you must take it back. Oh, it's only hope. Got it. Right, right, right. The ritual. That man I saw. That man was Albus. This is all his doing, but why? He coveted your power and your fate, but Dominus was yours alone to bear. Had I explained, perhaps you'd still be whole. But no time now for wishes or regrets. With Dominus, we too can save the world from nothing less than Dracula himself. Retrieve it, and we burn him back to dust. There's nothing else that's ever mattered more. It shall be done, sir. You truly are a blessing on us all, and we have one advantage. Dominus cannot be used by ordinary men, not even Albus. It requires you. No flesh but yours can ever host a glyph. You see now why I chose you for this task. I do, sir. But Albus has a keen and cunning mind. With time, he may yet find another way. So find him first, before his trail grows cold. I shall, sir. Shinoa, bring him back unharmed, unless... Unless he proves too stubborn. Understood? Yes. Our hopes go with you, all the worlds and mine. So Shinoa's a bit of the taciturn sort. Pretty, uh, pretty decent there, and it even shows you the way that you gotta go for the quest route. But I'm gonna see if there is a uh, save point over here. Yes, there is. Oh, yeah, I forget. The confirmation keys. Can I even change? Can I even change that? I need to change that. Um. No. I just gotta get used to the language there. Voice English surround off. Yeah, okay. I'll go with it. Let's step forth, shall we? A little bit of action in this. Okay, so now we go to Ecclesia. No, we go to the monastery. Ooh, the monastery. It's a forest of types. Apparently there is evil in it. It's worth noting that you have slightly shorter reach with your X button. Or in this case, for me, it's triangle, but anyways, yeah, your one of your hands has a shorter reach than the other, so just be careful about that. And I have the slide. I can do this just as fast, I guess. Yeah, the game is having just a little bit of trouble. Unfortunately, the, uh, the whatchamacallit, the, uh, emulator just isn't quite dealing very well with this one. Unfortunately, there's really nothing else. There's nothing else for it. Cotton thread. Okay. I think there is a crafting system in this game. Hmm. You know me and liking to explore all the different non going forward routes that I can find. 
I like to explore all the areas before moving forward. That's just me. Just avoid them bones. Now, enemies can drop glyphs, and here's a new glyph for me. Magnus. Create an attractive magnetic field. Press R to adhere to nearby magnets with the Magnus glyph. Alright. You can pull your character with the control pad. Okay. Yeah, I get it. Thanks. Yeah. I totally get it. Release R to send Shinoa flying in the opposite direction. With this glyph, you'll be able to get to normally inaccessible locations. It can also be used to dodge attacks in combat. Yep. Thanks. Save point. And so how that works is just do this shit, do this shit, do this shit, and just hop, hop, hop. Now that suggests to me that earlier was perhaps a little bit less of a going forward kind of a thing. Ooh, cotton hat. I will happily equip a hat. A little bit more defense? Yes, please. Cool. Level up. I can't get up there. There are kitties in here. Whoa. There is something to do with the cats in here, I think. Yay, HP max up. Always welcome. I don't think the cat is gonna step out, though. Oop, got a new glyph. Sword glyph, Sakare. Alrighty, I wanna try that out. Okay, that's cool. Alright, and this is something else. We can't get through this just yet. So that's a bit of a dead end. But it's nice to have a sword glyph. Just to have a bit of an overhead swing. Now bear in mind that enemy types do have certain weaknesses. So against that witch right there, against that little banshee girl, then neither of my weapons are very effective. Get out of here, that cat's meowing is starting to drive me nuts. That looks like progress. Let's go down a bit. Actually, let's even save. We'll be back to the monastery later on, I'm sure. So this is, again, this is a Metroidvania. This is where you uh, seek out ways to improve your forward momentum. Okay, seven damage. 5 damage, so the swords do a little bit more damage against these bones. Again, it's all relative, because if you are, uh, well, if you're doing combos, then it hardly matters, and if it's not going to save you a hit, then there is no point in having higher, have, sorry, in having higher damage. Sorry, I got distracted by a second Banshee here. Sandals! That's armor. You mean to tell me that Shinoa's going out damn near naked without shoes? That don't sound right. Alright, so what did I miss down here? Whoa, easy now. Easy, easy. Okay. This clearly does more damage against these guys, so I'll be using that for now. Oh, it's the warp bubble. Got it. Since I haven't found another warp bubble, then this is useless to me right now. I'm sure it will be useful later on, but I'm definitely going to have to fight a boss here. I just know it. Let's go ahead and put Sakare on our primary and then Confidere, Confidere on our secondary, because I feel like a little bit of a sword with an overhand swing is good. Plus it's doing just that much more damage. 
And it's nice to lead up with something like this, where this is a shorter range, but then if you got someone right in front of you, then you can follow up. So yeah, combos, baby. Sweet. Alright, moving back up. Zoink. Uh, let's, let's grab another save real quick. I, uh, I feel like being cautious. Up. And then we've already found what we were looking for up there, so no big deal. Doesn't look like attack power has yet been raised. And this gives us another glyph, which is... Coulter. A knife glyph. Well, let's check out Coulter, shall we? Oh, that's neat. That's a projectile. That could be helpful. Yeah. Yeah, that, I can see the value of that. Hitting enemies before they even reach you. Ow, Banshee's, Banshee's Cream hurts. Treasure chests actually exist in this game. Book of Spirits displays enemy names as you attack. That's cool. Now I can see what I'm killing. Yeah, I definitely want to get those at a distance. Magical ticket. That, uh, that lets me out of the stage again. Yeah, Sakare is already doing a good job for me here. Some good overhead strike options. You gotta die first, bitch. Okay. I guess we already got his glyph. Many enemies drop glyphs. Sometimes you kinda gotta farm for them. Oh, I didn't even see the bats. Another oh, magical ticket. They're, they're totally saying, listen, if you wanna get the fuck out, we understand. Okay, Coulter is a little bit, um, stupid. Coulter is very weak. I think it's meant for, like, you know, really at a distance kind of stuff. I believe that you can pretty safely rely on fleshy enemies to be weak against blades, and on bone-like enemies, or armored enemies, you can depend on picks and, uh, whatchamacallits there. Fucking, God, what are they called? Picks and hammers. Cotton thread, again. So, more material to craft with, potentially. Crafting systems in these kind of games are not 100% of the time useful. Okay, that's a fresh glyph. But I'm gonna get interrupted in it, so. Yeah, it's just another Sakare. I already know it, so it's not gonna do me any good. I have a feeling that I missed something. I save this. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to the right and see what I missed there, because this feels like progress to me. This feels like forward momentum. I'm not too worried about it if I get hit by a bone once in a while. Ooh, level up. Oh, and I do have the back slip. That's good. I've got all sorts of mobility options here. God, you zombies. Stop it. I'm just gonna skip this guy, and probably this guy. Are you following me? Stop following me. Yeah, I don't know what governs whether those little glyph things pop up and whether they're viable or not. Sometimes they're just not viable. Maybe they're just to let you know that you could absorb a glyph from these guys at some point. God, y'all are really... What is with all the magic tickets, man? Yeah, okay, great. 
I got three of them, but I mean, you know, I'm kind of committed here. That's nice that you can stand on the scales. That's cool. We're doing a little bit more damage now, so that's always welcome. Slash, 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 slash. Dodge, dash. Rehashing old territory again. Not too worried about it. Like I said, these guys aren't doing all that much damage. Not like ridiculous hard mode or anything. I've already got that glyph, so I don't need it a second time. Or even a third, really. Fine. Skip. You die. Again. You're undead, so you know it's your second death. Gotta be real careful here. You don't get a lot of life up options. Okay. Judge that a little bit better. MP max up. Good. That means more attack capability. And that is definitely a ball store up there. So we had best bewares. And the bubble warp. Alright. Let's do this. Oh, it's the thing. Okay, well, anyways. Gotta watch it with this guy. Oh, that's, that was a bad idea. I think I want double Sakare for this here. Yeah, that was my own damn fault. Game over. Let's go back. Let's at least finish this shit out. So once again, I'm gonna double Sakare, because I think that's gonna give me the greatest amount of damage on this boss. And I'm just gonna save that. And let's go. Open ye door. All right, that's doing it right. All right. Oh, you don't want to be there. Ow. Got hit by the web. Ran out of mana. Don't get hit by web. Protect yourself. Gotcha, bitch. Yeah. And the obligatory boss orb. Uh-oh. Shanoa. Still slaving away for the old man, are we? You. I've seen you before. Your name is Albus, is it not? Well, yes. By order of my master, I'm to retrieve the Dominus Glyph and return you home. Home, you say? I have none. The old man saw to that. It was not a request. Intriguing. I recall you being a great deal more graceful than that. And you've forgotten your skill with glyphs as well. I have forgotten, thanks to you. Is that so? Well, I'm never going back. Remember to tell the old man for me. You must, by order of Master Barlow. Never say that name again. Concentrate, Shinoa. Wow. Well, I'd best be off. Take care, Shinoa. There's a shiny. Okay, it's a, it's a map. Hmm, he marked a village on this map. Ooh. Well then, let's just go find this village. Should be easy enough to get out of here. Just warp. 
worth using the confirmation button, thanks. I think I'm good with Sakari for now. It seems to be doing the brunt of my damage, though Confidere will probably come into play later on when I need her piercing weapon. So we see the power of combos there, basically. Ooh, you got power. That takes up hearts. Okay, so hearts are the specials, and just the regular MP is, you know, regular attacks. Now, uh, curse in this game, it, it drains your, uh, your mana bar, or your stamina in this case, and it will stop you from being able to attack if it gets low enough. Poison will weaken your attacks terribly and also drain your life, so you really really need to carry some uh, stuff around to cure curse and potion. I'm oh, sorry, cure curse and poison. So, Weigol Village. Let's check her out. Ooh. Hello. A glyph! This is Albus' is doing. Torpor, a glyph that incapacitates components. You have saved oh, me. At last. Who did this to you? You must help the others. Everyone in the village has been taken. By whom? That man. He spirited away the other twelve and then imprisoned me. But the Lord must have sent you to our aid. Please deliver the others. Can you tell me where the man went? If, if I'm not mistaken, he said something about the prison island. I see. Long ago, criminals were banished to that forsaken place. I don't care. Some say their souls still wander the island, which is forever cursed. I still don't care. Where is it? You can get there through these very woods. Please, you must save them. Did Albus really take the villagers to a prison island? And for what purpose? So that's how the village is constructed in this. Nice to have a little heart refresh. So that's how the village is constructed. You've got one dude, and you've got to recover all the others. There is also a save point somewhere in the village, right here. We will take advantage of it. And I think that's enough for episode number one. I want to thank everybody for watching. Once again, my name is Alex, also known as Solonis Dracon, and this has been Order of Ecclesia. Thank you very much, and goodbye.